Hello and welcome to another episode by Krachwerke and this goes to all you fellow tone junkies and so on and so on. Um, today we're going to do a little a video about uh, buffers. Um, I've had a video uh, before which talks about buffers, how buffers are good and buffers are bad and true bypass is good and true bypass is bad, all depending on what you need, how long your cables are and all that sort of stuff. And uh, Right about here is now the link for it, if you want to go and have a look at that. Um, but basically, what's going on now in my head is that uh, I want to understand a bit more if, if you can actually see what the buffer does and what the true bypass does. So um, I'm going to put a wee link in here to another video that I saw previously by somebody else who's actually done some sine waves through uh, a Behringer and a, uh, a Boss buffer and Drew Bypass and, and another one and you can actually see what the sine wave's doing on some sort of oscilloscope type thing and I thought I'm gonna try and do the same I um, basically recorded uh, from the guitar straight into um, my little Zoom H2N just some clean guitar so that we've got one specific uh, um, only one signal that we can play through all the different bu buffers so we can have proper controls in place it's a specific signal at exactly the same volume played through each buffer um, and then recorded through a, a, an interface with exactly the same settings so that we can compare the waveforms all the way down to bit format so um, what I'm going to do is um, show you what those waveform, waveforms look like um, and you can see a close-up of them um, a bit later and you'll see that there's hardly any difference um, I was going to do a um, I was going to do a demo of the Behringer Heavy Metal HM300 pedal um, and I was gonna annihilate it basically because um, because of the buffer problem to me it sounds like there's a tone stack there however when i put it through its paces and I actually looked at the waveform so scientifically you could say i couldn't see a difference um and you can judge for yourself there's some tone and there's some um there's some waveforms that you can compare so um the the signal was as i said before i think it's quite important that you understand how the signal was controlled um this was not me playing one through the D, uh, through the boss uh, ds1 buffer and then playing through the heavy metal buffer and then through the bypass and then through the uh, the rock tech one it was actually just one recording played through what we, was then possible is that in the door you could align precisely the the waves on top of one another and zoom in all the way to the to the bit details and and there's hardly literally hardly any difference now there's a couple of questions i have uh, please also read the um the full text version because one of the things that could um be an issue here with my test is that i played it back through the device so that every signal is exactly the same so i don't know if the buffers might react differently um, getting in a um, low impedance, uh, sorry, a high impedance. So this signal from from the recorder is obviously a low impedance, um, and I don't know if the buffer should act slightly differently from to that. Um, also, what re really worries me is that audibly, and I'm, I'm sure that I hear a difference when I put the bearing in to compare to maybe a true bypass or the DS1, so the Boss types or the the Rocktech ones. Saying that, the Rocktech one clearly is the only one on the waveforms that shows a wee bit of a reduced volume, even if it's ever so slightly. So if there was one that should actually be um, strange or, or you should hear a tone suck, it's actually from the Rocktech and audibly I could never hear one. So um, have a look at the waveforms and uh, there's not much more I can say to that. So these are the waveforms in Cubase zoomed all the way to bit level and aligned exactly. I hope the video shows how identical they look. The track names, if you can read them, show if it is true bypass or which buffered pedal. Sound samples will follow.
aligned, I can now play back the samples so you can hear them, muting and soloing the tracks. Please follow the mouse clicks to see which are being soloed.